so this is the final matrix after uh, all sub problems have been covered and i have skipped some of the steps like i am not showing the steps for computing the value for matrix uh, m15 means the sub problem of having five matrices so you can find easily find out all the combinations for this m15 sub problem so this pro sub this problem can be divided into different orientations like we can uh, this can be filled by value of m11 uh, number of multiplication required for m11 plus number of multiplication required for m12 225 plus the total number of multiplication required by these resulting matrix suppose it is p similarly uh, this is one of the so uh, the that is the total number of multiplication required p is given by uh, and from 2 to 5 the resulting order will be 35 into 20 and for 1 it is 30 so these are the uh, number of multiplication required so similarly uh, we can have different orientation like uh, the number of multiplication required from m12 plus m35 plus the number of multiplication required i just meant i am going to fill these values later and then m of 1 3 plus m of 4 5 m of 1 4 plus m of 5 so these are the possible four combination and we need to find out the minimum one for this case here uh, first we will multiply matrix 3 to 5 which will give the order uh, uh, means 15 cross 20 and uh, uh, matrix 1 to 2 will give the order of 30 cross 15 so the total multiplication required is 30 into 20 into 15 for this case 1 to 3 will give the order of 30 cross 5 and 4 5 will give the order of 5 cross 20 so the total number of multiplication required is 13 into 20 into 5 similarly for 1 to 4 it will give the order of 30 into 10 and uh, 5 have a order 10 into 20 so the total number of multiplication required is 30 into 20 into 10 so whatever the minimum value between these three we have to fill that value in this cell m15 similarly we can calculate the value for m2 5 m to 6 the problem from the problem having size 5 so these are the two sub problems having size 5 then we will calculate the value of m16 the complete problem okay so this is how we will fill this matrix and the solution matrix accordingly now how to read the solution matrix in order to parenthesize the given matrix optimally so this is the problem and this is the final solution matrix that we have how to read the solution matrix so to read it go to the topmost or the uh, if we rotate this element and this matrix then this level is the topmost level then this is second diagonal is the second uh, most level and then so on so this is the topmost problem with six elements and uh, the optimal parenthesis is comes out to be at third matrix means if i divide this problem into from here this would be optimal move further 
from a1 to a3 now we have two sub problems and i need to find out what is the optimal penetration in these two sub problems so from a1 to a3 i can check my solution matrix from a1 to 3 the optimal penetration is at 1 so this is my second this is my first division this is my second division after that uh, in these two parts this is only one sub problem so i am not going to look for this in my matrix because it is a only problem and in this another part a to a3 there are two sub matrices so there is no orientation possible we can divide these two matrices and find out the scalar multiplication at this part a4 to a6 i need the optimal parenthesization so i go for my solution matrix and look for the value 4 to 6 and I find out that at this phase I can divide my matrices at 5 to optimally uh, find out the scalar multiplications. So the overall matrix parenthesis would be I divide I have to divide the whole matrix into two subparts. One subpart is having a1, a2, a3 and in this one a2, a3 are multiplied first and in another subpart we have a4 a5 a6 in which a4 a5 is multiplied first then a6 so this is the optimal solution and the number of multiplications required is 15125 using this solution i hope you understand the problem of matrix chain multiplications you can try out those steps which is not covered in this video you can try to find out the value for m16 m uh, and further steps for m26 and m36 so you can try to find out the values of for those and check whether you are correct or not check all the possibilities all the scenarios and try to find out the optimal scenario thank you very much for watching if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section thank you